Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to the channel. It is, uh, what's well, about 9.20 on a Friday evening. And I, look, I'm, I'm at the hideaway. I'm sure you know where that is. If not, it's on Soy 15 and corner of Soy Boomerang. Okay, let me take you around the town and show you how it's how it's progressing because, yeah, things have changed a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Last week when I came through here, I put some information on the screen and covered up a bar that was having an opening party. So, uh, nothing on nothing on the screen tonight. Uh, if you don't know this soy, it's uh, predominantly like gents clubs. An octopus is open. It's a, a new one. Only just opened uh, probably about a month ago now. It looks like Sluts on the left is open, and there's Playgirls on the right hand side. Yeah, so that was it there last week, and uh, that's where I put my, my thing covering it. So, anyway, yeah, so. Everything that was released last week about the changes on the 1st of July uh, were in the Royal Gazette today. So that means they're now law. And at the same time, they slipped in all the mask restrictions have gone. Uh, anything to do with masks is just an advisory, although some businesses have, have yet to tell their staff uh, that there's not a mask requirement. So if you go to a shopping centre or something like that, they're still going to be wearing masks. But in the street, anyone that's wearing a mask that you see is doing it totally voluntarily. Um, if you're not uh, up to speed with all the changes that have happened, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it covers off everything from uh, what to do if you're not vaccinated, how it affects uh, people under 18 and things like that. Let me uh, take a left here down, sorry Diana. Actually Wednesday morning I came out with a friend uh, just for a, a cycle around the town, six in the morning. And uh, straight away you could see there was, lo there was lots of girls walking about in uh, dresses and even uh, area 51 there is well, it's not any busier but we've got lots of staff now um, yeah so there was lots of girls doing the walk of shame if you, if you know what I mean uh, we had a bit of a, a bit of drama that morning we got chased by a pack of dogs and uh, I was at the front so managed to avoid them and my my friend, who was behind me, um, didn't get bitten by a dog, but one went under his front wheel and kind of sent him over the handlebars. So, Neil, speedy recovery, mate, and uh, I'm sure he'll be uh, up and running soon once he gets over the broken arm. Okay. On you to the right there. There's Trench Town and Scooters Bar. July, but already uh, in town, 
on this part of town it's uh, at least one o'clock and usually two o'clock that they're open till. Walking Street by six o'clock. There's a party on it, Fever. Anyone but a bit of roast pig? So uh, if you're coming over in the next week while, you can see there's plenty to entertain you here. I'll keep you pointing to the other side on the way back. If you don't know this area, this is uh, El Camero. bikes on the right. They are three deep. Hey, it's, a, it's a real tough call because you don't want you don't want Thailand to become like you know your home country where it's uh, everything's got so many rules. But at the same time if there was a fire here just now the fire truck would have a nightmare getting down this road. Okay, so that was uh, El Camero. Yeah, my, my mate Neil. I, I, I always try and laugh things off, you know. He said, do you hear the dog screaming? I said, I did say it and I, I couldn't hear the dog screaming for you screaming. Uh, it must have been painful. And, and fair juice to me. He cycled back the other, I don't know, three, three and a half kilometres back to the condo. Um, he was wearing a helmet when he was on his push bike. And uh, the helmet took a serious dent. Uh, the helmet was a write off. So, it's just a kind of, you see, you see guys here on holiday and locals and they, they think it'll never happen to them. Sorry, it does, it can happen to anyone. Okay, this is uh, Soy Chayapun, or Soy Pothole, Soy Bumpy, up to you, whatever you call it. Motor 
bike had a, a good look before he pulled out. At least he's well illuminated. So the, the kind of problem I've got with the filming side of things is everybody's coming out later and later. dive bar actually uh, soy lanky next door it's starting to look a bit busier as well uh, mon Monday night I was down there with some friends we were just picking up some uh, some burgers and uh, we had a little drink at the mini mini bar it's just, it's just like one of them little uh, pre-bar bars, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but it was, it was nice. I'll show you. I'll show you. Now, don't shout at me for going the wrong way, but it is much safer me doing this than uh, try to cross this road and get back in again. Because I'm just waiting to turn right here again. This is on, that's on Third Road. my camera tilts up like that you know I'm not pedalling the bike I'm actually pushing it along with my feet just just so I've got a bit more control yeah that's us pedalling again so that's us over to Soy Lanky massage shops open a lot of restaurants on this side as well this bar always gets a good turnout it gets a traveller's rest seems to be like a golfer's bar okay, i just speed up a little bit Yeah, if you're looking for a steak restaurant, steak and co's there. People writing to me this week asking where they, where they could get some steaks. Yeah, so I'll slow down a bit here for some uh, entertainment. Astro Bar, one dry bar. This is where we came for our burgers down here. Uh, Hunger Pangs. It's the old... Coons. And that was this little mini bar that we sat in whilst we were waiting for our burgers. Okay, let me see. I don't know if the camera caught that. Two motorbikes nearly plonking into each other. Uh, 43, 33 on the pound just now. It's actually had a slight, slight recovery this week. And I spoke to uh, American guy today. He says it's the best rate he's had for a long time. Zero 
bar if here we'll take a left here I haven't been down there so I honey for a wee while so we have Okay, so you'll know, uh, you'll know some of the bars here, but some of them are brand new. Oh, sorry. And you see there's water on the road. We have had a lot of rain. There you go. She's reading out the price list to you. 75 baht. It's not expensive, is it? Just over two quid. You kind of lose track because it's years since I've been back to the UK so I don't know what a beer costs in a bar there. Okay. Let me speed it up through this quiet bit. Oh, there we go. Honey massage on the right hand side. Oh, I can't get the camera over quick enough. There it was. Um, yeah, it is reopened. I don't know about the other ones. I just noticed this one when I was cycling past it the other night. If I'm in the car, I tend not to see, see so much. Come the cab. Look, they're all waving to you. Now, six o'clock in the morning when I come down here, I bet you there's still four of them setting out. on the second road and then just up ahead we'll turn right into Skull Beach so if you are uh, on a back bus and you want to get in, into Tree Town if you get off here at the Bayview see it there on my left get off at the Bayview turn right into here into Skull Beach and within two or three minutes you'll be up in Tree Town Now that um, the bar complex further up's all been knocked down, getting off at Central and walking through that isn't an option. It was uh, soy made in Thailand. But a lot, lots of new places on here that seem to be opening up. The one big thing I notice if uh, if we come drinking in town or drinking, uh, say in Pramnak or uh, Jom Tien, the kids that come round the bars, you know, try to, try to sell five bat sweets for 20 bat. And I know it's nothing, but they are still out there at one, two in the morning, you know. Their parents are just... Uh, Praying on their sweetness and your good nature. Okay, that's us. In tree town. Matador's got a few at the front. I remember there's still about another four and a half hours of uh, drinking to go here.
escape bar is definitely, a, or escape a go-go, definitely timed it perfect for the extended opening hours. I know they've he's spent a lot of money trying to get the right feel for the place. Here we get past the shoe lady. narrow further down. Some of the bars are very quiet, you know. Obviously, everybody uh, gets their favourite. is heading back towards Soy Bacow. This road's getting narrower and narrower. That's a, a Friday night, probably about quarter to ten now. selling dresses. The rock house always, oh sorry, rock factory, always gets a good, uh, good turnout. one on the left, the bay, and Annie Jacks. Oh. Fantasy bar. And that's us back at LK Metro. So anyway, let me finish off there guys, okay? 
thanks very much for joining me on my tour around the town. Hope you like seeing how busy it's getting. Um, although there is there is still some dead spots. Uh, there's not enough tourists here. And predominantly the tourists that are here are the Indians who tend to stick to walking street. So, um, you know, and everybody goes, yeah, well, you know, there's six of them, one bottle of beer and six straws, but they've paid for the flights, they're, they're here. Uh, I suppose they've got the benefit that their flights aren't so expensive because it's closer. Um, but they have, oh, oh my God. Okay, guys, thanks for joining me. Okay, please take care wherever you are in the world. Be safe, but have fun. And we'll see you next time when I'm riding around the town. I'll drop you off here at the Triangle Bar. Bye for now. Oh. Well, not quite bye for now. <laughs> Right, thank you very much. Okay, cheers. Okay, I'll just drop you off here, guys. Okay, take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.